In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer files from your iPhone or iPad to your Windows PC using iTunes file sharing. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, if you're looking to transfer your photos, videos, and even GarageBand projects and other files to and from your iPhone or iPad using a Windows PC, iTunes file sharing is actually a pretty handy option. So let's jump in now and I'll show you how it works. So the way that iTunes file sharing worked in previous versions is that we would select something like a GarageBand project here and hit share. We would hit the song here and share it out here. Now the very top option on our share sheet used to be share to iTunes. Now this has been replaced in iOS 13 by Mac with the iTunes logo there. The reason is this was super confusing. People would tap on this and then go into their iTunes here on their iPhone or iPad and wonder where their file was. So this has been replaced. But the good news is that it hasn't actually actually reduce the functionality. In fact, iTunes file sharing in more recent iOS versions is actually much better and more useful, and that's what I'm gonna show you now. So with the introduction of iOS 11 came the files integration, and now we have all of the different locations where we can actually store files, including iCloud Drive and others. But the important one here is this one, the on my iPhone or on my iPad location, because this is where the apps that use iTunes file sharing store their files. So here I've got LumaFusion, my video editing software, and I've got GarageBand. So if we tap into here, this is the location where anything that is stored in here, when I plug my phone or my iPad into my PC running iTunes, I'll be able to access it and I'll be able to copy files to and from this location just by putting files here. So let's show you how we do that now. So let's say we wanted to copy some of these GarageBand projects I have here on my iCloud Drive over to my PC. Well, what I need to do first of all is find the projects that I want. So I want to send these two. I'm going to tap on select here, select both of these, and then down the bottom here, I'm going to copy these because I want to copy them across to my on my iPhone GarageBand for iOS location. So this is what is going to be accessible on my PC in iTunes. So I hit the copy button in the top right there, and those are copied. If I go to on my iPhone now and take a look here under GarageBand, there they are. So there's my two GarageBand projects. But you might be saying, Pete, what if I want to transfer, say, video files or photos or any other file? How do I do that? Well, we can do that as well. And here's how. So I'm going to switch apps out of the GarageBand and go into the Files app here. Now I can go to any of these locations and copy across any file types I like to that same location and they'll all be available. So let's show you this. We'll go into iCloud Drive and let's just go to my Studio Live Today folder down here and find something interesting, maybe a couple of video files here. So if we tap Select, let's bring in these old Studio Live Today intro videos and outro videos I used to use. Once again, we can copy them using the Copy button down the bottom there, put them into GarageBand for iOS. Yes, they're not GarageBand files, but it doesn't matter. It's just one convenient place where all of this can be stored. And again, now that we go back to on my iPhone, we go into GarageBand. Here we now have not only those GarageBand projects, but we also have these video files. And this works for any file type you like, a zip file, a document file, videos, photos, whatever. Okay, let's now plug this iPhone over into my PC, load up iTunes and show you how it works. All right, so I've grabbed a standard lightning to USB cable and now I've come into iTunes here and here you can see the icon for my iPhone. So if I click on that one here, it'll jump into my iPhone settings. So from here, what I need to do is over here on the left, I need to click on file sharing and now you'll see these familiar apps here that I can access the files from directly on my PC. So if we click on GarageBand, which is the one we were using here, and yes, you can use other apps and do the same thing there, but we've got these in this GarageBand folder and there they are. So there's our two dot .band GarageBand project folders and uh, files, which turned into folders here, and I'll show you that in a moment. And we've got these three video files here as well, and they're all now able to be transferred directly to my PC. So let's show you how how to do that. Now to save these to our PC, you can see in the bottom right corner, there's a save button. So we can select any one individual file or we can hold down shift and select multiple files or we can hold down control and select files from anywhere here. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna control click all five of these files and then here in the bottom right corner, we're gonna click on save. Now it's gonna bring up somewhere where we can save. Here's a folder I prepared earlier. It's my GarageBand backup folder. And what I'll do is I'll right click here and just create a new folder that we'll put these in. Let's call it GB2019. 
and then we'll hit select folder. Now what it's gonna do, if you look up the top, it's gonna start copying these over. Now, the transfer speeds aren't super quick, depends on the USB speed of your computer, of course, uh, but yeah, it's not gonna be lightning fast. These were smaller files, so it went pretty fast. That is now done now. If we switch over to that folder, and we come in here to our GB2019, here they all are. So we've got our demo2.band folder, and we've got our demo demo song.band, and then we've got these three video files. File. So they're ready to go. We can play them, copy them, back them up, transfer them however we like. Now, you will notice here that our GarageBand project files are actually a folder of files. And if you've ever tried to transfer using something like Google Drive or Dropbox, this is why I suggest you zip up your project files before you back them up. It's okay here on the PC because it can store them as folders, but if you're trying to put them in the cloud, zip them up. And there's a video linked up the top right now and in the description that'll show you how to do exactly that. So that's all pretty cool. But what if we wanna bring some files back from our PC onto our iPhone or iPad? Well, it's just as easy and I'll show you that now. Now you'll notice that there's an add file button down here. Now this works for individual files, but if you wanna add multiple files or folders, that's not gonna work. We're going to have to drag and drop. Now it's very weird because to save, you have to use the save button there, but to bring them back in, you need to drag and drop. Anyway, so we'll slip, slip, we'll flip back over here to our GarageBand backup folder. And let's say we wanted to grab a different file. So we'll just go into my Selfish Aware album here and we'll grab one of the projects here. So let's grab, say, In Time. All we need to do now is just click and drag this over, drop it there, and what you'll see up the top there is it's now copying that. So this is a larger project, so it's taking a little bit longer to do, but it will copy this project file over onto my iPhone. And then when we go back to the phone, we'll be able to access it directly from the files menu and from GarageBand exactly as we did before. So we'll wait to that to finish and then we'll return. So that is done and there you go. It is right there and when we go back onto our iPhone, it'll be right there in our GarageBand folder ready to be opened and accessed directly. So that's a cool way if you back up your GarageBand projects or any other files, you can quickly and easily bring them back onto your phone or your iPad using this method. Now there are other ways to transfer your files. You can use a USB flash drive in iOS 13. There's a video about that link down there. And you can use Wi-Fi sharing using Audio Share. That's my favorite method. There's a video about that link down there. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you next time.